uh, Matthew Brown and Henry Brown, uh, uh, two Team Vic alumni who uh, have both been representatives of School Sport Victoria uh, in the cricket program that we offer to school students. Um, Matthew, I, first of all, thanks for having us here at your home. No worries, man. Um, just wanted to talk to you a little bit about your memories of an experience that you had with School Sport Victoria in 2005, I understand. Yes. Going back a little way. Yes. But um, you were selected for Victoria uh, in cricket and you were also named as captain of the team. Um, yes. Can you tell us where you went to and uh, what, what was the outcome? What was the experience for you? Yeah, so, um, you know, 2005, lucky enough to be selected um, with Robert Lamb and Ian Penn in charge of the team. Um, we went down to Tasmania um, in Launceston where the tournament was. Um, and as you say, it was a long time ago now, so my memory is a little bit sketchy, but uh, we beat South Australia um, in the final quite convincingly. And yeah, it was a um, you know tremendous week away with you know some some young men. It was great. You took away the the uh, national championship. Um, Victoria at that stage were pretty dominant in the competition. In mm. fact, uh, your win completed uh, a fourth successive championship. Uh, yes, a little bit of pressure on, yeah. on the boys. Yeah, there was. Uh, I remember leading leading into it. You know, the, the talk was that you don't want to be the you know the last captain in four years not to win it. So um, I didn't have a great a great tournament, but I you know surely my leadership maybe did something to get us over the line. Obviously. Probably not, but who knows. <laughs> and there were um, some notables in that team as well. Um, some yep. players that have obviously gone on to higher representation, uh, a lot of Premier Cricket players mm -hmm. and, and some that we've seen BBL. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, David King, who um, is obviously Ringwood's, um, you know, pretty close to leading run scorer, played a couple of uh, Shield games for Victoria. Um, he's probably the, the most famous, if you like. Um, Travis Jackson's still playing Premier cricket at Paran. Um, ben Clements was a dominant underage batsman uh, with Joe Kelly. Um, and Clive Rose, the, the Hobart Hurricanes um, left arm tweaker, he, um, he did a great job for us, yeah. And uh, I think you've been quite humble in not acknowledging your own um, uh, uh, career with Melbourne and yes. uh, ultimately being the, the captain of Melbourne. So congratulations on that as well. Yeah, no, thanks. <coughs> Um, what's really uh, interesting about your pathway is that your young brother, um, some 12 years later, um, should have a, a very similar experience. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Henry, do you want to tell us a little bit about your your recent experience? Yeah, so um, it was a great week um, up in Sunshine Coast and then down to Brisbane for the last game. Um, yeah, I had a good feeling about the um, about the team, like leading up in the trainings and the practice games, um, there was just a really good vibe and a really good culture around the team. Like in the warm-ups, we'd share a laugh or two, and and yeah, it was just really good. And then in the hotels up there, um, yeah, it was good to sort of have a few laughs, have a have a break from cricket um, in the re on the rest days, and when we got home, jumping in the pool and all sorts of stuff. So. Um, but yeah, it was just really, really good. So not only were you uh, following the footsteps of Matthew in being selected for Victoria to uh, to be representative of the championship, you are also selected to be the captain of the team. Congratulations Thanks, on that. Thanks, Sam. Thanks. And uh, you should take home the championship as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty rare where you get two runs that win the, win the national champs. But um, yeah, it was a great honour to be captain and um, I tried to accommodate everyone and do my best to lead the team, which I think worked. Um, so yeah, it was good. good yeah, play. it was a, a really outstanding effort. Uh, it was a, a privilege for me to be able to be there and to watch it. Um, now, within or between the two brothers, I understand that we've got several more um, uh, baggy blue caps uh, with both of you being involved in the 12 and under championships. Matthew, twice for you. Where, yes, where, did, where did we go to? Yeah, yeah. So, young man, I think it must have been 11 or 11 at the time, went to Adelaide first. Um, I can't remember who went over there, but then the next year was in Cobram Baruga and it was about 45 degrees in the shade. Yep. Um, you know, and when the wind blowed, it, it felt like you're in a fan full oven. So, <laughs> uh, I do remember that week a little bit better. Yeah. So, yep. lucky enough to to have a few representations, yeah. And Matthew, you travelled the country with 12 and unders as well. Yeah, yeah, I um, went up to Darwin um, for the under 12s. Um, yeah, I remember that um, quite vividly actually. We were um, heading up to Bendigo uh, once every two weeks for training because the 
coaches Dave and Trav were from up there. Um, so yeah, it was a fair bit of journey um, in the car with Mum. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, it was, it was really it was hot up in Darwin. Um, good good wickets for batting and yeah, it was good. Well, I think we equal equal won that as well. Right. So there wasn't fi- there wasn't a final series in that. It was just on no. Level, it, is, so. it is a premiership table. So yeah, at the end of the um, championship. We were equal it's... with Queensland. So so you you're actually a dual national champion. You <laughs> oh, have I two. Guess. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. True. Yeah. <laughs> Aspect of being a, a professional cricketer um, going forward is that something that's enticing? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, I'd, I'd obviously like to just see where I'd have fun with my cricket, enjoy myself out there, and see where it takes me. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's a really key message. Uh, you know, if there's one really good piece of advice that I heard from a a person involved in cricket um, was if uh, if it's not fun anymore, don't do it. Yeah, yeah. And so you know, making sure that it continues to be fun is the, yeah. is probably one of the the key things. It's, yeah. it's lovely to have all the money and the rewards and yeah. and you know the the prospect of playing cricket professionally. And but, I, um, yeah, I think that's what sorry to cut you off. Ian, yeah, I think no. that's what um you know dad. The, yep. You know Ian Brown, who's been you know probably my biggest mentor, and mm-hmm. maybe Henry yeah, as well. You sure. know the, yep. the amount of time he spent, you know, throwing his balls and yep. dissecting every dismissal. You know mm-hmm. he he often says, you know, if you're not if you're not enjoying it, then do something else and and you know cut your losses now. So, yeah, and I think it's a great message for yeah. our you know our student body that plays. You know, yeah. Um, yeah, there'll be pressure situations and there'll be great opportunities and sometimes you'll be successful and sometimes you won't. But yeah, yeah, you know it all packages up into something that that you love and as long as you love what you're doing, it's uh, yeah. it's never hard work. If you can't sneak off first ball and have a good day, you should probably stop playing. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, look, thanks, gentlemen, for uh, giving us some of your time. Um, as I said, it's a it's a tremendous story around you know two brothers who uh, represent their state, act as captain, mm-hmm. and then take out a national championship. Good work, so, bro. <laughs> congratulations, Steve. Both thanks, Todd. Thanks, Ian. Cheers. Thank you.